Why our MBCA technical information only covers old cars. So I occasionally I get this uh, kind of, you know, rhetoric from people who have, you know, newer Mercedes like cars from the 2000s or 2010s or whatever. And they're asking me why our live presentations for MBCA are not covering newer cars. And first of all, I have to tell you guys that if you have an older car, we're eventually going to cover some of the topics that are relevant to all the different model platforms on these streams. But I'm not doing this YouTube specifically to plug these streams. You can search for them under MBCA events and member resources. And uh, one of the problems that we're running into is that people who have information about newer Mercedes and people who have information about older Mercedes tend to be two different types of people. People who uh, have information about newer Mercedes tend to be a little bit more technologically oriented. They tend to be more into the computer diagnostic aspect. And ramping up for computer or electronic diagnosis is expensive. Most people have the basic tools available needed to adjust a carburetor. Most people who need to run a scan on their 2005 SL600 do not have a star, uh, an SDS machine, which is going to tell you all the information. And so that's why I find that information on newer Mercedes is scarce because it's better to just leave it to the mechanic unless you want to spend thousands of dollars in diagnostic equipment. Now, if you're like my friend Eric and you have an S600 and an SL600, yeah, spend the thousand dollars on an SDS machine. You're going to save yourself a lot of headaches because even with SDS, some mechanics are so bad that they still don't know what the hell they're doing. Now, trying to get all the codes out of the car without SDS is sort of like flying a plane with blinders on because you may be able to get the plane to take off, but at some point you're uh, going to lose because you can't see where you are going and you can't see what any of the controls are telling you, so you're going to crash. You know, it's, it's sort of like that. And that's one of the reasons why I invested in an SDS machine. And by the way, I want to thank my friend Charles for helping me save my SDS machine when it broke. Because <laughs> electronic things fail. That is the number one goal of an electronic device, to perform for about five to ten years and then break. Just so you know, that's why I love analog cars so much. But, you know, all these guys in MBCA that are coming on and asking why we don't have information on the newer cars, well, this is part of the problem with the MBCA. I'm here to win members of Legacy Mercedes back to the MBCA with our technical information. Uh, the people that have newer cars that are clamoring for information are, you know, sorry, but you know, you guys are probably going to stay no matter what, you know, you're the, you're usually the kind of people that are, uh, if, even if I spend, let's say 10 hours of my time presenting, answering questions, organizing topics in these new Mercedes, you're not even going to be able to carry the information out because you don't have the means, you know, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. So it's kind of a waste of my time. I mean, I want to do presentations for people that are actually interested in fixing their car, not interested in knowing about it. I don't have time to do stuff for people who don't take action, which brings me to another one of my issues here. I'm so frustrated because our live presentations are only getting 25 to 30 members. If you guys really want to support me, if you care about what I'm doing, then, you know, at least watch the presentations on YouTube. I'm so sick of seeing these things with like 100 subscribe, 100 views or 200 views. You know, if you really see value in what I'm doing, then help me, you know, help me by joining MBCA and, uh, and attending our presentations so that we can actually show people in MBCA that there's a pulse for this stuff. And um, that to me is a, a big deal. You know, I'd, I'd like to see more people with legacy Mercedes in our club just so we can have a stronger voice. You know, I mean, it frustrates me when I spend all this time organizing for a presentation, I get 25 watchers. When I know that there are hundreds of people on my channel that have these cars 
that really like them and really want to uh, really want to learn how to keep them on the road. I don't know. Maybe I'm already providing too much information, but I don't care about that. Um, okay, well, uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications, and also leave an applause at the end. Uh, and if you see value in what I'm doing for NBCA, let me know in the comments. If you think I'm wasting my time, then that's fine too. You can let me know in the comments as well. And if you think that I should be doing more material coverage on newer Mercedes, then maybe you should learn about the cars yourself so that you can do it instead. You know, I'm doing all I can here. In fact, I would love to say that, uh, that I feel like my contributions have actually made a difference for some people. I'm not saying that I'm all the difference because there are a lot of hardworking people out there who have taken it on themselves to learn about these cars, but maybe a little difference and that's enough for me. <coughs> okay, well, I look forward to hearing more from you guys. Enjoy working on your Mercedes-Benz and we'll see you on our next MBCA presentation.